Hey, Thick Like Fam, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of One of Each. I'm your host for this evening, John Shin, and of course, from wherever you guys are tuning in from across the world, I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, I got a, I got a couple of things I, want, I need to apologize for first. Uh, first things first, I've been getting questions about my introduction and the word tune-in. Uh, sometimes I say it quickly, and the word tune-in kind of comes out like tune you know, like tootin', hootin', tootin', shootin', you know what I mean? Like like a cowboy. Wow, that's completely coincidental. <laughs> but I'm saying the word tuning. You know how like you're tuning in, you know, you know, you look for the channel, you know. Uh, that's probably like 60s and 70s TV, my, my bad. Uh, but you get what I'm trying to say. I'm tuning in, right? So I do apologize. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that word clearly with, with proper diction and pronunciation, okay? Tuning in, okay? <laughs> I'll fix that going forward. And secondly, as we've just mentioned, the cowboy hat, the hat. I do apologize. Uh, I I know that I put this on once in a blue moon. And for the Thick Luck fam, the OGs, you guys know, whenever I put this on, it's because of one reason and one reason only. My hair, it's an absolute mess. Uh, New York City is going through an absolute disgusting heat wave coming out of nowhere. I am sweating balls. I am gross. I think I talked about it in another video. Uh, but yeah, it's 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 tough. Uh, I am not good with the heat. John Shin ain't no no heat man. I, just, I can't do the heat. Uh, so my hair just gets all busted up as well. So I'm throwing the hat on. And uh, I've recently picked up some weight, and it's 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 horrible because the hat looks small on me again. Uh, it's not good. It's not good at all. Uh, I tried really like putting it on properly. I like tried pulling it down, and um, all of a sudden I started getting dizzy. And I couldn't, I couldn't see properly, uh, and I realized that the blood was, you know, stuck. It was hitting traffic. You know, it just, it, it couldn't get up there, and I was like, I was losing consciousness. It was, it was bad. So um, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it on like this. <laughs> and lastly, this background. I've been promising a couple of you guys. I do apologize, but at the time of this recording, I have a couple of things ordered. It's coming. We're gonna fix this in a couple of episodes. I promise you. At the time of this recording, you know, not too much time has passed since I've made that promise. So I promise you it's coming. This background is going to get fixed and uh, hopefully uh, it'll do you guys justice. Because I know you guys have been saying, especially Rafes, I know you've been saying this is pretty dull and boring. I promise you I'm going to fix this for you. I promise it's coming. Uh, <laughs> uh, getting straight onto the show now at this point. Uh, if you guys haven't uh, figured it out by now, there's no guest today. And I wanted to... Figure out how I can kind of you know hit you guys with some curveballs once in a while, and the first of many curveballs is just doing my own thing, just me, myself, and I, and just you guys. Uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about my personal life as well. You know, I've been told many times by my pops, and I've been told many times by my old school friends, stop, stop being so personal on TV, stop sharing so much things. And you know, to some extent, I understand what they're saying, especially in this day and age where information can make or make or break everything about your life you know i understand that you know i think privacy is very important but for you guys my thick luck fam you guys are like family to me and i want to share with you guys my life stories and i don't want to sound like i'm some old aesop fable type of type of person but i do want to share with you guys parts of my life because i think it's very important that we discuss and have conversations as the mantra of one of each is the idea of having conversation and understanding what it means to be human so in honor of that, uh, we're going to continue to do these once, uh, one of each series with guests, without guests, and sometimes there's you know, going to be other surprises. So I, I will always ask you guys for your continued support. Thank you all so, so much. Special quick little shout out to all of the guests that we've had on so far. Mr. Fly PhD, Kim Football, uh, AJ and Adam, Streffer Paddock's very own Jay and Adam. You know, all of these guys have been nothing short of what's the word gracious merciful thankful i am absolutely thankful and blessed to uh, have been in their presence quite honestly uh, i am not a organization that has money to be running a massive show or I, i'm not that kind of person but to for them to have you know taken time out of their busy day to sit down and chat with me i just feel totally truly thankful and blessed so thank you guys and um if you guys are watching this make sure you guys go watch those episodes because they're great conversations i think we learn a lot about them Besides the work that they do, especially in the world of football for the first four guests, 
besides the work that they do, we get to learn a little bit more about their personal lives. And I think it's very important because sometimes it's easier to judge people just based off of what they're being shown, especially when it comes to their work of sorts and understanding where they come from a little bit, their background, their their livelihoods, the way they grew up. Well, I kind of sounded really uh, Southern Western there, the livelihood. Um, but yes, you get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay, so... You guys don't want to hear me. You guys don't want to sit here and talk. Uh, you sit here and hear me talk for thirty minutes plus. Uh, so I'm gonna try just keep this super short, and it's just gonna be one photo. And I think the, these one of each, where I'm just sitting here by myself, because uh, there's this uh, YouTuber. He's one of my favorite YouTubers of time all. His name is Mr. Specs Gonzalez. Massive shout outs to you, Mr. Specs, because that's I think he's brilliant. And he runs a show on it on Filthy Fellows channel called No Rules Show with Mr. Tigo the Tigo Siegel. Uh, and sometimes they have guests and sometimes they don't. And I personally enjoy the ones where they don't have guests because I think the back and forth between them is absolutely brilliant. It's world star quality content. Uh, and, I, and unfortunately I'm a one man show here and it ain't the bench warmer show. So I'm just going to be talking to you guys by myself. Uh, I'm going to just try and keep it short. Uh, so without further ado, let's get straight into the photo. If you guys are enjoying the one of each series, please do subscribe to the channel. Please hit a like on all of the videos and please share this channel. I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the beginning of the Premier League season. Uh, that's a couple months. So please, please, please share, like, and subscribe. Please, please. Thank you very much. And let's get you. All right. Now you're probably wondering, John, who the hell are these people? First things first, I'm in that photo. If you guys look really closely, you'll find me. Uh, this is a photo of me and my closest friends. We call ourselves the Bad Luck Boys. Uh, this photo was taken approximately 10 years ago. I want to say 2011, 2013, around that time frame. Very, very long ago. Uh, for the sake of making life easier, we'll just say it was approximately 10 years ago. And if you guys don't know or recognize this frame, this, this photo background, this is a, a very famous shot. Uh, many people use that bridge as the backdrop. It is the Manhattan Bridge located between Brooklyn and of course, like the name says, Manhattan. Uh, many people come here to take family photos, anniversary photos, wedding photos. And we decided, why don't we just start taking our photos as well? Uh, we were young back then and we wanted to think about ways to continue to, uh, to try and, you know, preserve what we call ourselves brothers and, and, you know, cement that into the memory books. And this was the way to do so. By taking these photos, we agreed to take a, a group photo like this every couple of years. And this was the first of the of that series. Uh, a couple of people he, uh, here, they've moved, they've gone their separate ways. But most of us here are relatively still very close knit and very close uh, as family, you know. And we still see each other and speak to each other uh, here and there. You know, of course, as the years go by, we get busy. We have more priorities. We have things to worry about. We have families to build and things of that nature. Not me yet. I don't, I don't have a family to build yet, but, uh, but yes, you know, as we get older, we have other important things to handle. But at the end of the day, what's important is that we're all still brothers and we still look after each other. And I think that's what's beautiful about these guys and, and, and what we call ourselves the Bad Luck Boys. Now, the reason why I share this photo is because uh, I want to share with you a quick little story. And of course, uh, and, and kind of give this photo as an opportunity to hit you guys with a little bit of like this, this sneak peek slash prelude. Uh, the Bad Luck Boys are, they are what makes me who I am. Uh, you know, I have amazing friends like these guys, and I have a, a beautiful family, not including myself because I'm not really that beautiful, but, you know, but <laughs> I'm surrounded by amazing people and, and, and an amazing family, and they are what makes me who I am this day to this day. And uh, we've went through so many highs and lows together. We've went through so many tough times. Some of us here have went through times that I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy, honestly. It's, they've just been through, we've all been through thick and thin, but the most important thing is that we all went through it together. We went through thick and thin together. Some people learned a lot from each other. Some people learned a lot together. Some people learned about themselves through each other. We've just, we've benefited so much from being, each, being in each other's presence, as well as understanding that as time passes, it's better to keep the distance sometimes, you know? <laughs> but... Uh, hopefully I can get some of these guys on here to chat with uh, chat with me and maybe they can share some of the photos of me and them. You know, I feel like that'll be fun. I think uh, one of each should be conversations with everybody. It doesn't have to be famous celebrities or internet uh, personalities. It could be just your average Joes like me and my friends, you know? And 
hopefully I'll get a couple of these guys on. And this serves as the sort of, you know, the, the, the foundation. I've, I've ordered the dessert. You guys, you know, you, that'll come later. <laughs> but a quick little story, I guess, I could add here is that uh, I tore my pants while taking this photo. Uh, I, uh, I have what people in the UK know, know as a big, a proper back off or, you know, or a bunda. You get me. <laughs> my ass is huge and I was squatting to tie my shoelaces and I just heard something go and I was like there's no way something ripped just now uh, I kind of get up to sort of assess what's just happened and then I feel my pants a lot more loose than it used to be uh, this was around the time when people still this this was around the time when people were wearing even like you know skinny dress pants even like it was pretty tight you know it wasn't like it, no, I want to say tight it was a much more slim fit and um, as you can tell we were very young 19 20 years old we had barely had money to even buy buy food you know what I mean we were broke boys but we put together this half ass suit for everybody you know I don't think anybody here is wearing like a full suit you know what I mean like it was like a, a blazer from here. A shirt from here and, and pants from there and dress shoes from there. You know, it was all just kind of like a piecemeal type of thing. But I think we look damn good for 19 year olds. You know what I mean? And uh, my pants ripped. So many a times I'm hiding, I'm hiding in the background. I'm usually the guy in the background anyway because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in the taller percentile of the group of friends. Uh, but I had to hide for the majority because, yeah, uh, my, my, my pants just completely ripped. And you just could see my boxers the whole time. Uh, I didn't give a damn though, you know, cause I, I guess I exhibited this like no rules lifestyle from a long time ago. Cause I don't, I don't give a damn, you know, my ass is out. If you want to see it, you can see it. You know what I mean? It was just, I felt bad, but my pants ripped. What am I supposed to do? You know, we were supposed to take pictures. Uh, we've had, we had a very fun time this day. This was when some people realized they really enjoyed, uh, photos being taken of them. Some people realized that they like being in group photos. Some people realized that, oh my goodness, uh, I want to be a model. Some people realized, oh my goodness, maybe we can just keep doing this even more often. And some people thought here, I hate being, t I hate photos being taken of me. Some people were saying, oh, God, I never want to do this again. Uh, and it was a good time. It was a good time. This is probably one of the most peaceful settings because during those, during those days, uh, the bad luck boys, we went through a lot of bull crap. I'm talking like bad situations, trips to the hospital, Many things, you know. So uh, we'll leave those stories till then. And yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna end this episode here. It's not even a full episode, actually. This is just kind of like a teaser episode, I guess, because I got a couple of friends lined up. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this one. We have, you know, fun guests unrelated to my friends. We have actual <laughs> other guests lined up. I've recorded a couple of episodes already, so uh, those are coming your way. And yeah, that's it. I'm gonna end this here. Thank you guys so much, as always, for tuning in. Please, please subscribe to the channel if you guys have not yet done so. Hit that notification bell so you guys are always staying up to date on whenever I'm dropping new stuff. And of course, as always, take it easy. Mad love always. I'll see you guys later.